hello welcome back once again go ahead grab your makeup and let's create this bronze look first we're going to be cleaning the face with micellar water from miss metic this is you know to clean the face and make sure the face is clean before applying other products on the face it's really important to like clean your face it's really really important don't go applying makeup on a dirty skin be going into it with the rose water toner from miss metic this is also going to help retain moisture on her skin and also control the oil on her skin she has a normal skin so it's going to be really easy to prep her skin so we're going into it with the omari code bd serum this is to make sure her skin is well hydrated and not lacking water so i didn't put directly on her skin i i just pumped into my pan and went ahead to apply with a brush then blend into it with my beauty sorry with my fingers don't pump directly on the skin because if you do that you'll, you'll just end up transferring gems back into the bottle and you don't want that so i took my time to blend it in properly and make sure you absorb into the skin before going into the skin now i'm going to be priming the brow area with my becca primer this becca primer is really matte so i want the brow area really really matte but i'm not going to use it all over the face so i'm going into the skin with the only moisturizer this is, a, this is like an oil free moisturizer she has a normal skin so i just don't want to have so much oil on the skin so i'm going in with my oil free moisturizer the only oil free moisturizer so i make sure i blend that in properly blending or applying your moisturizer with your hands are really really better and it just helps you know just blend in the moisturizer properly this is just best then i'm going into her skin with the the Rimmel london stay matte Primer. This is not like a very dry primer compared to the Becca. This still leaves your skin looking moisturized. It doesn't like strip your skin of its all the moisture it has. That's why I really love this primer, and it works perfectly well for a normal skin because it has a normal skin, and this primer is just normal, not too dry, not oily. So I'm going to be using my illuminator this is from the noban beauty in aurora and apply that on the high point of her face as much as i don't want her face like oily so much i still want it to look alive so on her skin i'm using my melanin foundation in number 11 i don't know how i skipped the video of the foundation but somehow it's not in this video that clip is not here so but what i used on the skin is my melanin number 11 I applied that, I deposited that on the skin with my brush, then went ahead with my beauty sponge to blend that in. I took my time to blend foundation because foundation is the foundation for every other makeup to stay on. It's called a foundation for a reason, right? So your foundation has to be well blended, well arranged, well fixed. Whatever I want to call it, where your foundation has to be perfect. So after applying the foundation, making sure it's well blended, it's time to blush her face, mixing this two blush one the first one is the tequila cosmetic in choi and this one is my eye magic lip palette i mix the both of them because i want the two shades in this blush like on her face okay you get what i'm trying to say so i'm applying that it just makes that on the back of my palm i know took a little quantity from my beauty blender and applying on her skin because i don't want to pack so much personally when i do blush like i get messy with blush because i love blush i'm a blush girl i love blush so much so i get really messy so i try to just treat carefully because i don't want to you know have products all over her skin so i'm applying the excesses on her nose and her forehead area because i still want color on that area not so much don't go and pack products there and say okay i was one that said it though i didn't say it so just very little quantity excesses from your beauty spoil so to conceal and contour her face i'm using this found this concealer from the noban beauty so i'm just you know contouring her skin basically with a dark shade when contouring i like to warm the face instead of contouring like giving like a very sharp dimension i don't really like that i like it looking like really soft bronzed and you know skin like just basically skin like and so i did that i went to the other side deposited and i blend in my beauty blender i like to contour high when i'm contouring i like to bring my contour high so when i'm blending i just you know take that down like take it around to where i need to take it to but i feel like when i contour down and blend it just press down to her face and trust me you don't want that you don't want products spreading all over the face like what's the point of having products spread all over the face when applying anything on the face you have to you know apply that with a purpose yes it needs to have a purpose before applying that so i went ahead on her forehead also to make sure i have like enough 
like to my satisfaction so i'm going to just go ahead and highlight her face so i'm applying that with my brush when concealing the face highlight or conceal in a triangle form make sure whatever you put on the face has purpose like like it has a direction don't just take product and put all over the face so i apply that and blend in with my beauty sponge i'm using my newborn beauty concealer when i use my newborn beauty concealer i just blend as i go because this concealer dries up really fast so i only leave my concealer to get tacky when i'm using like a really creamy concealer but when working with the newborn beauty i just make sure I blend as I go. I applied on her chin, under her nose, the bridge of her nose, and her temple. So I'm just basically blending, blending, blending. Because you need to blend, like, just really blend. You don't want to have demarcations everywhere, all over your makeup. If you have demarcations, it's going to be given, you know. I don't know, but just make sure you blend properly. So at the end of the year, makeup will be looking flawless and and all so i'm going to be contouring her nose using the same concealer i used to contour her face to contour her nose so i took little product very little concealer because i don't want to pack so much product on her skin on her nose area if you pack so much product one is going to, it tends to break and also spread all over so i apply that with the brush and try to seal that in with a beauty blender like give it like a very smooth blend because for the nose contour i really hate to see that hash line that nose contour hash line now nah, there is no point of doing all that when your contour is well blended it's going to give you like the soft clean look kind of so to set under her eyes i'm going to be setting with this pressed powder first so i blend first then go ahead i blend with my beauty sponge first then go ahead to place the powder and when placing the powder i usually place everywhere i highlighted applying first with like setting first with the pressed powder is going to help you on the eyes not to crease but make sure you're taking little quantity so for her under eyes i'm going to be setting her under eyes like the place where i highlighted my newborn beauty translucent powder in mustard this powder has like a yellow undertone and it's beautiful like it suits her skin color like Novan beauty did a thing with a setting powder if you have not tried this Novan beauty setting powder i highly recommend try it and it's affordable and does the job perfectly well so you don't have to break the bank if you cannot afford like the high end setting powder so just go for this and you're good to go so i apply that basically everywhere i highlighted i asked her to smack so i can you know be able to apply under her mouth and on her chin this is just going to help me like have like a very easy blend and also apply on the bridge of her nose and on her temple everywhere where i highlighted so trying to give the face like a lift i'm applying um setting powder on the sides of her mouth sometimes i do it with concealer sometimes i just do it with the setting powder because i don't want at this point i just want to give it to give like this very soft look so to intensify the contour i'm going in with this warm shade this is like three or four shades darker than she is i'm just intensifying the contour and this is warm like i said earlier so i'm just warming the face and not contouring with like a very dark powder so to set all over her face i'm using my newborn beauty mineral finishing powder in number four to set all over her face so i'm just taking a little quantity and building up like you can see in this video i keep picking products and going on her face the reason is because i don't pack so much product and go straight on the face i just make sure i build up if it's not enough i can always add the product is mine right so it's still there with me so to give her face a lift i'm going to be contouring the side of her eyes this time i'm not using the same shade i used to contour her face because that's going to be too dark so i just want to you know give the eyes a lift like a little bit so don't just go in with so much product like a very dark product doing the same thing on the other part of the eyes like the other eyes yeah doing the same thing on the other eyes so i took my time to blend this when doing this please 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 take pick little quantity you don't want to ruin your perfect skin work so i'm setting with a powder just make sure you set with a powder so for her eyes shadow we're going for a smoky kind of bronze look if that makes sense so for the base i'm using my gel liner my beyond beauty gel liner as the base so i'm just basically blending it like gently gently because it's black and because it's black it's black it's going to spread and you know mess up the whole thing so i'm going to be placing my 
this is like a dark brown it looks like black no but it's very dark brown from my elsa school eyeshadow palette on the lid and i'm going to be blending in with this dark brown this is from my color studio palette i think gazelle color studio palette can't remember but you can use any eyeshadow palette of your choice so i'm just blending the demarcation between the um the lid and the crease just to give it like a very smooth blend i don't want to like have any demarcation i keep mentioning demarcation 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 in this video you don't want to have demarcation trust me so i'm just going just popping the eyes the more just adding more brown from that color and using like a very like a clean brush to just spread it to the outer corner of the eye so it's going to like uniform then i'm smudging under her eyes with the same brown i used on her lid picking little quantity i keep going back to pick products because like i said earlier the product is mine i can always build up but if it's too much i can reduce so i'm taking like a clean brush to just blend that and connect it to the outer corner of the eye so i'm using my elf glitter glue to add my pigment this is like a glitter stroke pigment glue so i'm using it to add like pigment on the eyes and doing that i'm using my jennifer lopez stroke inglot body sparkle yeah highlighter there is the glue yeah that is what i used on the lid so i just place that with my flat human hair brush when working with like a pigment a flat human hair brush or an animal hair brush works better for you when placing a pigment on the eye so i just place that and blend that using like a blending brush to just pick little brown and blend the outer color of the eyes and make sure everything just uniform like it came with her eyes that's the vibe i wanted to give very soft then to line her waterline i'm using my beyond beauty gel liner i make sure i put it on the back of my palm let it get tacky for a while before going into it and on top of her eyes as well and i'm using my favorite wing beauty mascara the one of this mascara is amazing like instant volume mascara so the volume it gives to the eyes wow this mascara i love it and using my davis pencil this is the pencil i use all the time for my brow so i'm just doing my brows or doing her brows rather i use this pencil all the time i basically just have like one way of doing the brows but recently i said doing like the brows last after the skin work after the eyeshadow before i do like the skin work then do the brows then do the eyeshadow but now i just why not change the style of this whole thing you know so i changed the style and i'm doing like i changed my style of makeup i want to try new things there's no harm in trying i want to try new things so now i'm doing the brow last and i kind of love the way it turns out so this is what i'll be doing from now on until i get bored and try it to try new things or decide to try new things again so i'm just basically highlighting or defining the brows when the advantage of doing your brows last is that one it saves you products plenty concealer and the rest of them and when defining your brows after that's when you're doing your brows last make sure guys you go in with so little quantity because you don't want to have concealer messing around your eye so i did her lashes off camera yeah so i just trying to like clip it together to seal it into her natural lashes so i'm blending her under eyes taking out excesses from my under eyes using her powder shade and i am picking like little or no product i have like little or no product on my brush so you don't want to pack product and ruin what you really did so i'm going to be spraying her face to bring the makeup together with my nuban beauty setting spray to make it into one layer so to speed up the drying process i'm using my lash pack i have like that mini fan but i feel like that mini fan is not fast so my lash pack does it faster for me so that's it so i'm just sealing the makeup with my beauty sponge make sure this is like 99 percent dry before doing this you don't want to go with a beauty sponge on a wet face it's going to lift your makeup so for the lip not because i don't know what to always do on the lip but because i actually want like a brown lip liner and a nude lip inside like the regular nude and brown that is what i want not because i don't know what to do on the lip so i'm lining with the brown from my eye magic lip palette and i'm making sure it's well blended because i really don't like going after my lipstick to clean or define it so i take my time to just line it properly to save me from the work of going back to define and clean so i'm using this shade from my eye magic lip palette i mixed it actually i mixed like 
that white shade and a little bit of pink like very little so it doesn't look too white on her lips and you know and i don't want to have like the pink on her lips that's not the vibe i want in this video or this look rather so i make sure i blend that in properly if you notice i keep changing my brush i go in with the one i used to line the lip to blend and i go in with the one i used to apply the inner lip to blend as well so now i'm glossing the lip with my classic lip gloss i always use my classic lip gloss that lip gloss is amazing and it's really affordable i think it's like 700 or 1000 naira now but this lip gloss does it for me all the time so using my tequila beauty blush palette i'm using the blush in choi to intensify the con the blush sorry on her skin and give it more color and make the skin more alive do you notice what the blush just did to the skin blush is like one of the obvious and most underrated makeup process or whatever but we feel like oh yes blush everybody does blush but blush is shouldn't be underrated and whoa guys this is the finished look this look is given i'm just going to let you enjoy this look and i will see you guys in my next one